This game is called Destination Transformation. In this game, you will be using your knowledge of transformations, reflections, rotations, translations, and dilations in order to reach the finish. Before playing the game, cut out and assemble the game board and game pieces and cut apart the question cards. To begin playing, the player whose birthday is closest to today's date goes first. Place your piece on start with a head sign up and in the same orientation as the word start. On your turn, roll the die and move forward that number of spaces. When you land on a space, follow the directions written on the space. If you land on a reflection space, it will specify which line to reflect over. For example, if I land on this reflection space, I will reflect over the blue line, like this. Make sure to also flip your game piece as you reflect. If you land on a rotation space, rotate your game piece as directed. If I were to land on this space, I would rotate 180 degrees about the gray square like this. Remember to turn your game piece as you are rotating. Orientation of the game piece matters. For a translation space, follow the orange path. Pay attention to which side of the square to translate to the corresponding square. If I landed on this space, I move my piece and say two spaces left and three spaces down. If you land on a question space, draw the top question card and read it aloud. Answer the question. Your opponents decide if your answer is correct. If your answer is correct, move two more spaces forward. If your answer is incorrect, move one space back. Once you land on a space and perform the transformation or answer the question, your turn is over. What if you do not know how to transform your game piece? Work together with the rest of the players to figure out where the transformation would bring you. If the transformation moves your piece closer to finish, do not move your game piece. However, if the transformation brings your game piece closer to start, move your game piece to that space. If you get toward the end of the game board, roll the die and discover that there are not enough spaces to move, you must stay where you are and wait until your next turn to roll again. You do not follow the directions on the space. The person who reaches finish first wins. There are alternative ways to end the game that add a little more challenge and strategy to the game. In one variation, the player piece must be in the finish area with the head side facing up. In another, the numbers must be in order with one and two on top. Lastly, you could require both of these conditions to be met in order to finish the game. Moving backward and forward is another adaptation to the game you could make, regardless of the type of finish you choose. Through Destination Transformation, you will deepen your understanding of transformations as you perform and answer questions about them. Think about these questions as you play. Why is it important to pay attention to the numbered corners on the game piece? Why does the orientation of the game piece matter? Which transformations preserve the orientation of the game piece? Which do not preserve the orientation? Why are there no dilation spaces in the game?